In January, we published an article discussing the potential advantages of having the Steam Deck's successor skip the RDNA 3 generation and instead adopt RDNA 4. Now that AMD has unveiled more details about their FSR 4 technology during their recent RDNA 4 live stream, this idea seems even more plausible. FSR 3 primarily focused on introducing frame generation, which aims to boost frame rates. However, this feature doesn't provide much benefit if you are already experiencing a low frame rate. In contrast, FSR 4 aims to significantly enhance image upscaling quality, allowing games to run at lower resolutions while still delivering good image quality. This could be incredibly helpful for devices like the Steam Deck, which may struggle with higher resolutions due to hardware limitations. In the live stream, AMD showcased a comparison between Warhammer 40 Carver Space Marine 2 running with FSR 3 when balanced in FSR 4 performance mode. The screenshot demonstrated that FSR 4 produced a sharper and clearer image than FSR 3, despite running at a lower base resolution. And this improvement in both image clarity and performance is a crucial advantage for devices with limited power, such as the Steam Deck. AMD also claims that FSR 4 will address issues like ghosting and visual noise. In some cases, FSR 4 upscaled images can even rival the quality and detail of native 4K images. This is a remarkable claim and shows the potential of FSR 4 to significantly improve visual fidelity on less powerful systems. If the Steam Deck 2 adopts RDNA 4 and integrates FSR 4, it could dramatically enhance the device's performance and extend its lifespan by supporting higher quality visuals while maintaining smooth gameplay. FSR 4 could be a game changer, particularly for portable gaming devices with lower hardware specs. Do you think Valve should wait for RDNA 4 and incorporate it into the next Steam Deck? It could be a smart move to ensure the successor remains competitive and offers top tier performance for years to come.